not light. Come this way. All right, some more. Keep coming. All right, one second. <laughs> it's recording. Perfect. It looks like this is tilted. Right. Looks like I'm fired. Arrested. Did you looks like we made it. We need. No, we need this. Oh, one and a two. <laughs> Supermarkets are the best place to film because it's like the lighting and the the colors and the high, linear perspective and the sales. Hey Neil, you like apples? Hey, you like this? <laughs> Was that as important as I made it out to be? It's great. Welcome to Real Change Day Nine. If you would imagine that this go-kart track is an apple orchard, mm -hmm. then I would say check yourself into a facility right now. Be the apple orchard you want to see in the world. We need to get some B-roll of the apple orchard. And I want to show you my crib. It's an apple orchard. Look at this. Oh my gosh. We got all these apples. Oh man. These apples. This is a Lamborghini apple, boy. Training every day for these apple orchards. <laughs> A lot of you guys think this ain't an apple orchard. Bro, check this, come on. Will you call this? What? Oh my gosh. And that's how we play. Kobe. This is an apple <laughs> seven access. Great, 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 really awesome. Okay, throw it. Oh no, you did not let it hit the lens. <laughs> Can we I fix mean, that in post? Yeah, I think you can definitely put what tree right here. We are still talking about the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. A lot of people think it is an apple, and it's not. It's not just fruit. It's not just the act of eating an apple. Yeah, there's a whole lot more than that. Actually, here, I'm gonna look at it here. Hey, I got an apple. I have a Bible. I got a rock. So Genesis 2.17 says, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it, you will certainly die. If you love me, let me go. That's pretty clear directions, I would think. The fruit is actually the knowledge of good and evil. So knowledge is information, ideas, ones and zeros. It's just data, it's just knowing something, but it's very different from Wisdom. And you can correct me if I'm wrong, Neil, because I do that from time to time. Be wrong. We I've usually cut all of those I've out. I've never seen it. Free Shavaka do! Free Shavaka! Like, you know, you think of like a child's innocence, how it's like all is good, and they don't know anything other than that. And it's like when you take a bite of that apple, when you step into that realm, you are stepping out of that innocence. Hosea 4, 6. Okay, so God's not saying, why am I leaning in like this? I don't know. So God isn't saying that like knowledge is bad. No. He's not saying like, don't have any knowledge. Here's here's what Hosea, why? You're still standing like okay. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. He's not saying that knowledge is bad. What is he saying? You build up your knowledge of God. I'll read my Bible so that I can prove to people how smart I am. You're doing it for pride. Are you going after knowledge for you or are you going after wisdom so you can know and understand God more? There's a big difference. So basically what God is saying to Adam and Eve is that you are going to create a separation between us. Genesis. Back to Genesis. He, talking about Jesus, is the key that opens all the hidden treasures of God's wisdom and knowledge. This is the difference between knowledge and wisdom. Think of it as an apple. Okay. Wow. Good thing I paused. This is knowledge right here. It's knowledge. This is an apple. Get out of here, Neil. Wow. This is what you want. This is an apple. Not even, ow! I'll, I'll drop it. You got a paper cut. I'm so, I'll, I apologize, I'm getting this wrong. <laughs> this is an apple. And yeah, I want you to it. under- That's not an apple! Oh gosh, okay. Oh, this is all knowledge. This, is this, just because this is right, is it? No, no, like this is still knowledge. This has nothing to do, are you gonna hit it out of my hand or? <laughs> just a little flickeroo. A little tippy tap. That, that's like, this is the real thing. James 1.5 says, if you need wisdom, 
ask our generous God and he'll give it to you, he will not rebuke you for asking. He's not gonna smack your hand if you're asking for wisdom. Hey guys, Tyler here. James chapter three, verse 17 relates to that. It says, wisdom from God is pure, peace loving, gentle at all times, willing to yield to others, full of mercy and good deeds, showing no partiality and always sincere. That's got depth. That's not a, that's not a piece of your paper, Neil. I can take a bite of this. No. <laughs> Neil doesn't like germs. The devil knew that we would all be tempted to try and control our own lives instead of trusting God to take care of us. So the desire to know is often in direct opposition to the desire to trust. And that's, that's what we battle. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle it. <laughs> Did you order the cobra? Don't you lie to me! <laughs> oh my gosh. That went everywhere. I'm that so did, sorry. Look what you did, Neil. Look what you did, you little Look. jerk. Shut up. Kevin, upstairs. So which do you typically lean towards? Do you lean towards knowing God? Or do you lean towards trusting God? And that's the question I want to leave you with today. God, we love you. I pray that we would trust you more and that we would not lean on our own gifts or knowledge. We would lean on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Neil, your turn. It's good, it's good, Neil. I'm 50! I'm 50! <laughs> Look what you did, you little jerk. <laughs> oh!